YouTube. This is Drone Tastic. I'm your host Dan. Be sure to subscribe so you can be kept up to date with some of our latest releases. Um, moving right along, we are going to work with soldering again today. Uh, soldering of bullet connectors. They look a little bit like this. And there's a male end and a female end and they plug into one another and on the back side there's a little tiny cup that you may or may not be able to see. My hands are not necessarily steady but that cup is where we solder the ends of our uh, electronic speed controller or ESC. Uh, I bought some 30 amp, I'm sorry, 20 amp maker fires. They are specifically for quadcopters um, or drones and they don't have a battery eliminator circuit on them. I'm a little bummed out about that but um, they'll be used as spares for my King Kong and uh, I might even put some red bottoms together with these. Now the thing is is that uh, a lot of times these wires these wires here are cut and what happens is is that the wires from the motor are soldered directly to the solder points on this board. I don't like that. I like bullet connectors because it makes it a modular system. So if something's wrong with the motor, I can swap out the motor and test that. If there's something wrong with the ESC, swapping of the motor will make it evident that the ESC is bad. So what we're going to do today, and I'm only going to do one, but we're going to take one of these connectors here and we're going to solder it into a female bullet connector. And this is because this is where the power is sent from and if um, when they are shrink tubed up so that they're not exposed on the outside they are the outside of the connector they would short out spark could possibly cause a fire etc so we don't want that all right so uh, let's get started as you can see here we are once again using the Weller WES 51 uh, great iron I put the chisel tip on today uh, at the advice of some friends of mine from uh, one of the hobby groups all right, so as you can see there, the uh, bullet connector is in the uh, alligators on the helping hands, in which case this time they should be very helpful. All right, I'm going to move this to the side a little bit here, but what you have here is the back end of a female bullet connector. So we're going to heat that up, throw some solder in there, Can make sure all the rosin is boiled away out of the thing. Gonna have a little bit of blob coming down this side, which is all right. And now, keeping the wire or the, the solder hot, put that wire down in there like so. Take the heat away, letting it cool, and there we are. And there's a bullet connector. Now, since I did glob over the side, I'm just going to go ahead and heat that up a little bit. I slide that back. Because remember, this whole thing is going to be underneath shrink tubing. Now, once again, um, I want to show you some shrink tubing options. So, online, you can order a box of these. That's quite a collection of shrink tubing, more than I'll need for quite a while. And in our situation, all that we need is a piece, all that we need is a piece this big. It's barely larger than the connector, but it should do the trick just fine. Unfortunately, it's a little long, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that, about half that size. Okay, all right, now we're going to take one of those halves of shrink tubing and we're just going to slide it down over the end of the connector. There we are. Just kind of got to feed it the rest of the way. Actually, if you can see closely enough in there, we've got just a little bit of overhang, which is really fine for the end because we don't want it shorting out. Uh, so that's perfectly fine to have that kind of overlap. Now all we do, we take our soldering iron, which I should always keep clean but never do, and just add some power to it, some heat, and that should shrink everything up 
all nice and pretty. And then, next time you need to check a motor, you can just disconnect the male end from that connector. And there's the male end. She plugged right in. She'd have shrink tubing on it too, which would take us past the end of the connector. And uh, I don't know that I can get it out without too much trouble. And I'll just pull her out this way. And that's that. That's soldering a bullet connector. Uh, once again, this is one of those situations. These wires come pre-tinned. You can tin them again if you want. You don't have to. Um, same with these ends. They're pre-tinned, so once again, you don't have to tin them if you don't want. If you're cutting them and, and they're going to be fresh, uh, fresh wire, you could retin them. Uh, it's recommended that you do, but um, you don't have to. It's your gear, and you can do what you like with it. All right. I hope that was insightful and helpful. Uh, next time you can do one your own. I've got uh, two more to go and a battery adapter to throw on this end. Um, although since this is going to go in a drone, you are pretty much you pretty much have to solder this directly into a uh, power distribution board. So uh, that's where the bullet connectors aren't going to come in handy, but. In this situation, they're great. And uh, for any of my airplanes, anything with a BEC, uh, it's great to have these bullet connectors because you don't have to. Uh, if you want to swap something out, you do it. If your if your ESC has been overheating long enough that uh, it's time to get a bigger one in place, you unplug the bullet connectors, put the new one in, plug the power into the BEC enabled uh, uh, ESC, and you're good to go. Anyway. Thanks for stopping by. Once again, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe uh, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Take care.